Okay. No. No for question number four. Two progressive sound waves. That has two. That is y and z. Meet at a fixed point. That is p. So what is the? Where is the fixed point? This is my y. This is my wave y, and this is my wave z. So they they meet at a fixed point. The variation of time when displacement is given. Use the figure to show state one quantity of wave y and z that is the same. So the same basically is. So what is the same? Basically, this is the frequency is same. And second, for this wave, this is also a. The same frequency. So the frequency, that is the frequency. Now second must be when the frequency is same, the time period to complete one oscillation is also same. So the period must be same. Second is the period. These are the two men. Characteristic that are same for both x, y, and z. Now, for the next question is, state and explain whether the wave y and z are coherent. So, why they are coherent? Now, uh, for a, which are the different? This part is which is different. So, the amplitude is different. The maximum height of the attain, they attain also different. So. Amplitude is different. Amplitude is different, but frequency f and the period that is time period is same. So explain the whether wave y and z are coherent. So basically, whether so uh, when what is the uh, necessary condition to be Uh, wave incoherent when the constant there is a constant phase difference. So to be to x y and z y and z are coherent are coherent. Coherent. When that is, the they have constant phase difference is constant. Phase difference is constant. Phase determine the phase difference between the curve. So, how to determine the phase difference? So, the phase difference is, I am going to the graph. So, the phase difference is basically, this is my height. This is ninety. This must be one eighty. And this must be two seventy here. Two seventy, and this is three uh, sixty. So, so the difference basically difference between this height, that the two corresponding heights, is the phase difference. So, this is the first height, and the corresponding other is the second this one. So, this height is this height must be. Uh, one eighty, and this must be two seventy here. That there must be two seventy at the mid of this one, and three sixty is there. So this value might be equals to two ten. So this is basically then ninety and two ten. So dividing the uh, sorry subtracting the two ten with ninety. So the path difference is one twenty. Now for the next question, what the 
determine the resultant displacement at t equals to 0 0.75 so where the t equals to 0 0.75 so how to find this is the time and t equals to 0 0.75 one is here this one so this must be one two three four five six seven and this must be 7.5 so determine the so resultant displacement equals to four. That is this for four. Four. And the second one is in this point is basically at this point, this value is nothing but it equals to negative one. So four minus one. It's just the resultant displacement. The resultant displacement must be the subtraction of both or the sum of the both. So this is four and positive, and this is negative one. So four minus one. This is equal to three, and this is in micrometers, so it must be three micrometers. Now for the next one, the intensity of wave y at a point t is i determine it is in term of i and b. Yes. Now there must be i equals to basically i is directly proportional to amplitude square. So intensity intensity basically depends intensity of g equals to so intensity. Yes, sir. Intensity. of V equals to two square upon four square into the value that is I. So where it comes to or four, so the value comes from this value is just the comparison. So the height basically, the maximum height of this one is four that is the maximum amplitude of this is that is two and the second one is four so just this is just the ratio of two upon four so this might be so the intensity of g must be equal to uh, this is four upon 16 i so this must be one one upon four so one upon four i equals to 0 0.25 i so the value is 0 0.255 for the next question the speed of wave z is 330 meter per second so we have to find the wavelength so basic formula of wavelength is as v equals to f lambda v equals to f lambda now now the general value given is this is the value of V that is 230. What about lambda? So lambda is not given. Lambda not the value of frequency. So how to do it? The frequency basically, the frequency depends on the time period. So the time period we calculated is resultant that is 3 into 10 raised power minus 3 meter. So this must be the time period. So how to uh, compute this value in the frequency as frequency equals to 1 upon t. So putting here that f into 1 upon t. So 330 equals to now the value that is lambda we find upon the value of t equals to 3 into 10 to the power minus 2. So this value must be then multiplying lambda equals to 330 into 3 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2. So the value of lambda equals to 0 0.99 meter. This is the value of lambda. So this is the end of question number five. So for question number 
question number four. So now, now starting question number five. So first question is define volt. So what is the volt? Volt basically is joule per coulomb. So the volt equals to one volt equals to one volt equals to one joule upon one coulomb. So the next part is the network of three resistors are shown. Determine the combined resistance for each. So the combined resistance for each depends on now combined resistance for the two resistors connected connecting in parallel for. So these are the two resistors. So we know that the formula for parallel is one upon R equals to one upon R1 that is 300 plus one plus one upon 200. So this was three. Uh, one upon R equals to, you have to uh, take the uh, LCM. So after LCM, the value of R equals to, after simplification, that equals to 75. Oh. The total resistance between the terminal, now we have to find the total resistance. Now this value is 75. Now this is X input. Now this value of resistance Combined resistance equals to 75 that we calculated here. And then there is a 55 here. So both are series connections. So for series, the resistance must be must be added 75 plus 55. That equals to 130. Now for C. Calculate the current when the resist oh, uh, resistance is this far. So how to calculate the current? As the value of current equals to, there are basically different formulas. Uh, as P equals to, P equals to VI, P equals to I square R, and P equals to V square upon R. So these are the basic formulas used so the the one we use is p equals to now the value is value of p is given or not now the value of resistance is this one and this is the value of power that is 0 0.20 so p equals to we use p equals to i square r so how to find i square equals to P upon R and then this value equals to I equals to under root P upon R. So what the value of P is? P value is 0 0.20 part divided by the resistance is here 55. So this value must be the answer of this current equals to, I am getting the answer, answer equals to, of this calculation is equals to 0 0.060 ampere. Now for the second one, this, 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 this must be equals to, I equals to, under root, 0 0.20 the power is 7 and the resistance is 300 this time. So for this one the I equals to 0 0.015 ampere. So this is the answer of this question. Now for the next part, part number D. Calculate the potential difference. So how to find the potential difference as potential difference equals to Now, what will be the values given? So the values given of resistance value is, we compute it for the whole circuit for x to y, uh, y to uh, x to y, yes, so it's equals to 130 ohm. 130 ohm. And the next one is, 
when the resistance is 130, the value of I we computed as that is for simple uh, series current or the potential difference for I equals to I equals to when the when the value of is 55. So so this value is uh, is equals to 0 0.060. These are the two values we just calculated. So V equals to IR. So I equals to 130 multiplied by 0 0.060. So this value must be equal to 7.8. So this is the end of the question number five. Now for question number six. Question number six, this must be uh, the current, the expression equals to A and V. E. So state what is meant by A and what is meant by N. So A is the cross-sectional area. Cross-sectional area. And what is the N? N basically is the number density of free electrodes. That is number density, number density of free electrode of free electrode. So using the determine the value base units of e so the unit of the e equals to so it must be as i equals to given as i equals to a a and v e so this e equals to i upon a and V. So E must be equals to, now this is ampere. Now the second one is this one, area is meter square. Meter square. Number of density basically is M minus three. Now the, the value of uh, V basically the velocity so is much meter per second. So this, this meter square and this meter one is multiplied that is two plus one equals to uh, three and this will cancel out with M minus three. So the E equals to A, this S, S uh, minus one is multiplied of course, so it must be A S. So the E unit is ampere second. Now, uh, two lamps are connected parallelly, so you have to find the average drift between the uh, free electron in the filament wire of P to the free electron in the filament of wire Q. So how to find how to find this? So for this ratio equals to basically the area. So area that is it depends on area. So the area of Q. So it is basically uh, reciprocal, reciprocal of the area. That is, speed is speed is reciprocal of the area. So it means that area of, of Q is upward A Q upon A P. So uh, just computing the values, it, uh, Q is basically a, a circular so it, pi r square upon the value is now it's two times. That is, so it must twice the radius, so it must have two R square. So, so because it is twice, so we have, this must be twice square, so it must be pi R square upon four pi R square. This pi R square must be, so it must be one upon four. So the ratio is one upon four or 0 0.25. So this is the question number seven. This is the end of the. Now this is a plate. Uh, 
of a beta part of beta particle is there and the separation between is six millimeter. So how determine the magnitude and the direction uh, of the force? So magnitude of force, how to find the force? As we that I described earlier, the P equals to B upon D, or the second for E equals to F upon Q. This is the two fundamental equations to find the value of P. So how to find the value of F? So F equals to the E given that is 4.5, sorry, 450 into, into the value of, that is the value of one electron volt equals to 1.60 into 10 minus 19. And this must be divided by the 6 into 10 this minus 3. So so why to divide 6 uh, six into 10 this power minus 3? Because the separation is, is depend on this one. And uh, where to uh, where is the value come 1.6? Because it is a, a beta particle. So beta particle is an electron. So beta particle, this is beta negative, so beta particle is electron. So the electron has 1.6 in 10 to the power minus R, and this is the separation. So also we have to divide with separation, separation two. And uh, where is the 450? So 450 is basically the value of potential that is applied, that is this one, okay? So, so uh, this depends on how to find the value of E. So just, just the comparison of E, equals to V upon D or E equals to F upon Q. So, so just comparing that V upon D equals to F upon Q. So F equals to the basic formula, F equals to Q charge V upon D. So this is the formula we use. So after, after the multiplication and the system, the value find as 1.2 into 10 raised power minus 14 newton and the direction is vertically downward. Now, uh, we have to find the work done. So how to find the work done for, for, for a system? So work done equals to FS, FD or EQD. So it depends on work formula that work is equals to FS, R E multiply by Q multiply by D. So in this case, it depends on uh, the values must be here. So uh, work done or the second equation, work done equals to work done equals to V into Q. These are the first formula, second and third. These are the three formulas given. So you, uh, it depends on you uh, whether you choose to uh, find your value of W, so W equals to, now W equals to the value of V, I'm using this, so value of V is negative 450, and the Q is the beta particle that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19, so it must be equals to, the value equals to minus 7.2 into 10 to the power minus 17 to the power. So this is the uh, answer of W. So how now the next question is determine the speed of beta particle that is we have to find the value of v so as e equals to half mv square now this is kinetic energy is given that this one so it must be kinetic energy equals to 3.4 into 10 raised power minus 16 equals to 1 upon 2 uh, what is the value of mass so value of mass of electron equals to this is the standard value you have to, you have to, you must have to know. So 9.1 into 10 raised power minus 31. This is the mass of beta particle, that mass of electron into V square. So you have to just, after calculation, you have to find the value. So value of V equals to 2.7 into 10 raised power seven meter per second. The value. Now for the last part, 
now what will be the complete the equation so 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 this there must be uh, for this there must be a proton so there must be a proton proton so the charge is and the mass is 1 1 then a volt so uh, that is v that is po uh, positron that that is physically negative and this charge is zero this is zero and this is also so this is basically the anti particle of electron that is anti particle of electron so state the group of the uh, neutron and beta particles so the group of neutrons is hadron hadron and for beta particles it equals to leptons leptons so this is the end of the paper uh, as and a level physics that is 9702/23 so we'll meet in the next next lecture